This is one of my favorite days of the year, commencement at Colorado Mountain College. We're so proud of all the students that will be graduating this year, and we also know that this is unusual and unprecedented. We find ourselves in an unprecedented time in our history, facing a global pandemic, which means that we can't join together in person. And I know that nothing replaces the opportunity for a commencement where you walk across the stage uh, and you shake hands with the dignitaries on stage and your family members are sitting in the audience cheering you on. We know that this won't replace that and we hope that you also know Colorado Mountain College is nothing if we're not creative. We try to be innovative and we try to be student-centered. So we hope to deliver to you and your family something really special in commencement this year. So the way that this is going to go in a virtual format is that I'm going to share with you what's coming next and there's going to be some special components. We have 1,200 graduates this year across all of our campuses and we want each of them to feel special. Each will have a special keynote commencement speaker. All of those commencement speakers are also participating with us in something that is also historic in our history. 2020 marks the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage in the United States, which was the passage of the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. And we know how many equity measures and doors of opportunity were opened following that historic time. So we've invited a group of remarkably talented and accomplished women to serve as commencement speakers for all of you. They include women who are the first to hold their role. For example, the first woman to be the commissioner of agriculture in the state of Colorado. The first woman to oversee all of law enforcement for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. The first Latina to serve on the Colorado Supreme Court a businesswoman who is now the first to hold her role in one of Colorado's major outdoor companies. And the stories go on. You'll hear from our Lieutenant Governor, who is a four-time cancer survivor and a champion for health care for all. All of these stories we hope will wrap into something that we feel is very special and that commemorates our core values as an institution that are rooted in equity and opportunity for everyone, and all of our graduates are part of that as well. We know you will go off and do incredible things and leave the ladder down for others who are fighting for opportunity and for the ability to succeed in whatever they choose to do down the road. You will also get to hear from students and our student speakers who will share with you their own journeys and how they've gotten to this time. You will hear from a member of our Board of Trustees who will confer your degrees. You will get to turn your tassel. You will hear from the head of the Colorado Department of Higher Education who will congratulate all of our graduates on behalf of the state. And there will be a few other surprises along the way. So we hope that you enjoy this ceremony. Please take photographs with yourself. We have sent you, if we had your address, we sent you a box which included a cap and a tassel, and we will have a tassel, um, a tassel ceremony. We ask that you take photographs. We ask that you take them with your family. Please share those to social media. Um, we hope those are lifelong memories for you that you will enjoy. And most importantly, we simply just congratulate you. Um, we wish you well. We hope that you will stay in close touch with us. And you are now officially a member of the Colorado Mountain College alumni family. Congratulations. Greetings, everyone. My name is Angie Piccioni. I'm the executive director of the Colorado Department of Higher Education. And I am excited to be with you in this virtual commencement. Want to first start off by saying congratulations to all the graduates their friends, their family, and everyone who contributed to making this day possible for the graduate. I hope that you have created uh, many memories with your friends and family throughout this, uh, this whole course of study. And now that you have completed it, you are about to commence on the next stage of your life. But it's also a historical context because we are celebrating 100 years of the women's right to vote, the 19th Amendment. And so, you are set in a historical context for many reasons. When we think about those women and the passion that they had to pursue their purpose and develop the skills that were necessary to make it happen, that's what I hope that you are doing as well, that you have pursued a passion at CMC 
that you are about to embark on pursuing your purpose, whatever your purpose is, and that you have developed the skill set necessary to make it happen. So congratulations to all of you today, and you are forever an eagle. Go Eagles. Congratulations and best wishes for continued success. Welcome, graduates, family, and friends. Bienvenidos, graduados, familias, y amigos. Deseamos sinceramente que estuvieran aquí. We sincerely wish that you were here, pero aún así vamos a celebrar. But still, we're going to celebrate. I am Yo Soy Tinker Duco, and I have the great honor, Yo Tengo el Gran Honor, to serve the Rifle Campus, de servir a este campus as Vice President and Campus Dean. With me, conmigo, Profe Bob Van Aken. Y en espíritu también aquí están nuestros destacados profesores y personal. And in spirit here with us are all of our outstanding faculty and staff. They offer opportunity, service, dedication, and excellence every day. Ellos brindan oportunidad, servicio y excelencia todos los días. Thank you for another year. Gracias por un otro año. And now we're going to acknowledge some of the people who make our campus a very special place. Ahora vamos a honrar algunas personas especiales. Por favor, please welcome de mostle la bienvenida a Bob Von Aiken. 2019 Faculty of the Year honoree, who will present the 2020 Faculty of the Year Awards. Profe Bob Van Aken va a presentar el reconocimiento los mejores maestros del año. Hi folks, uh, first of all, congratulations to all of our, our new graduates. I'm here to announce Rifle Campus Awards for both adjunct and full-time faculty. And if you'll bear with me, I'm gonna spend just a, a few moments sharing some comments that have been uh, submitted uh, that uh, pertain to each of our uh, award recipients. So to begin with our Rifle Campus Adjunct Faculty of the Year, uh, I'll read some of these comments. She goes out to the field and can find job openings for students to apply after their classes are completed. She's calm and collected while teaching and makes all students feel part of the class. She is always positive and truly cares. She has been a valued part of our campus for many years. We're so lucky to have her on campus and in our community. We are so fortunate to have her skills being passed on to the next generation of caregivers. She took on a great new project this year of teaching PCA, which is personal care attendant classes to ESL students. This is great for the students and for our community. And finally, she's retired from nursing, but keeps coming back to teach. This shows how much she loves teaching and passing her knowledge along to her students. So our um, Rifle Campus Adjunct Faculty of the Year Award goes to Brenda Simonson, CNA faculty. Congratulations to Brenda. Now to, uh, to move to our full-time uh, Faculty of the Year Award, here are some comments about this uh, winner. He is one of the best instructors I've had at CMC. He's always open to speaking with the students. He expects the best of his students. He pushes them to always be better and to do better. I really appreciate his sense of humor. He makes me laugh, has a lot of good ideas and communicates them well. Not only does he teach what communication is and can be, he also expects his students to be polished in their use of grammar, punctuation, formatting, presentation skills, research, and so on. He has high expectations and makes you work. He's dedicated to making his students better. And then finally, he's admired by students, staff, and faculty alike. And we're all lucky to have him as a teacher and colleague. So our, our winner of the full-time faculty of the year award is uh, Dave Chimovitz. Congratulations to Dave, and again, congratulations to both Brenda and Dave. We're so, so proud of you. And now I have the honor, yo tengo el honor to present our 2020 Staff Member of the Year. Voy a presentar el personal del año. Here are a few comments about his colleague, from his colleagues about him. Anything that is requested of him, he does for the betterment of our students and staff. We're so lucky to have him. He's so nice, a kind and gentle man, truly an asset to the Rifle Campus, always so pleasant, caring and thoughtful. He's super supportive and never asks for anything in return. We would not have the campus that we do without him. 
He's done an excellent job during the COVID-19 adjustment. His positive and supportive attitude are greatly appreciated. He is an important member to our team and I'm honored him to, have, to call him my colleague. In addition to his solid commitment and dependability for keeping us all safe and well prepared to do our daily business, he brings a warmth and a calm to our campus community. His work ethic, efficiency, pride, and genuine caring for our facilities and the people that use them have truly transformed our campus over the course of the past two semesters. Congratulations to our facilities maintenance manager, Jason Cordova. Felicidades a Jason Cordova. And now, a student highlight. Ahora, un estudiante excelente. Amanda Engel has been part of the Rifle Campus for many years, as both a student and for a time an employee. This May, after several stops and starts through myriad challenges, she is graduating with her bachelor's degree in sustainability studies. Amanda, después de muchos retos, está graduando. In the face of loss, in the wake of the unexpected death of her husband and father of her two children, Amanda chose to grow more, to be more, and to give more. Después de la trágica muerte de su esposo, Amanda decidió crecer más y ser más, más y dar más. She has spent the past months researching diverse burial options and gaining a deeper understanding of grief and transition. She demonstrated top academic performance in her capstone course, conducted an extensive interdisciplinary review on intercultural death and dying practices, designed elegant experimental methods, and was then able to adapt her methods successfully when the pandemic occurred. Amanda ha pasado los últimos meses investigando las prácticas de muerte in muchos países y diversos métodos de entierro. The faculty who worked with Amanda were continually amazed by her professionalism, academic commitment, and sense of humor while she conducted her work. Moreover, her research findings could be of incredible value to society. A través de todo, Amanda mantuvo su profesionalismo, su compromiso académico y su sentido de humor. Además, su investigación tiene valiosa para la sociedad. Amanda now strives to be a professional death advocate to help others experiencing loss pass through the process in an empowered manner. Amanda quiere ayudar otras personas que experimentan perdida a través del proceso de una manera empoderada. Amanda, gracias por ser una inspiración y metáfora de nuestro tiempo. Amanda, thank you for being an inspiration and a metaphor of our time. I would also like to acknowledge those of you watching who are members of Phi Theta Kappa. These are students that have achieved a 3.5 or better cumulative grade point average. Quiero reconocer los miembros de la Sociedad de Honor, Phi Theta Kappa. Congratulations, felicidades, and students, estudiantes, lo hicieron. Congratulations, felicidades. This is the end of our part of the virtual celebration. Pero felicidades, buena suerte, congratulations, and good luck. Congratulations to our graduates from our West Garfield campus in beautiful Rifle, Colorado. We're so proud of you. And I am privileged and honored to introduce to you today your keynote speaker, the Honorable Supreme Court Justice Monica Marquez. Monica grew up in Western Colorado in Grand Junction. She went off to Stanford University and to Yale Law School, and she's come back to her home state of Colorado and is serving as the first Latina in the Colorado Supreme Court. I'm confident that she will have an important message to all of our graduates and families today. Please enjoy Monica Marquez. Felicidades, Clase de 2020. Greetings, Class of 2020. And congratulations to all of you for graduating, especially in the middle of a pandemic. That is not an easy feat. My name is Monica Marquez, and I'm a justice on the Colorado Supreme Court, where I've served since 2010. I'm so honored to speak with you, proud Colorado Mountain College Rifle Campus graduates. I grew up in Grand Junction, and so when President Hauser asked me in January to join you at your commencement, I was so excited to head home to the Western Slope. And then, as we know, everything kind of turned sideways. I know that this spring has been challenging in all kinds of unexpected ways. And I also know that for many of you, 
Graduating from college or completing your GED has been the hardest thing you've ever done. It's a tremendous accomplishment. And so I can imagine how heartbreaking it is not to be able to celebrate this in person with your classmates and your friends and your extended families. I wish so much that I could be there in person to see your faces and give every single one of you a high five. But I'm also grateful to CMC for this opportunity to record my remarks for your virtual commencement ceremony. This year, 2020, our nation celebrates the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote. The fight for women's suffrage wasn't easy and it didn't happen fast. In fact, by most accounts, it started in 1848 in Seneca Falls, New York, with the passage of a resolution calling for the right to vote. The women who began that battle did not live to see the end of it. Others had to pick up the torch and carry it for another 72 years before the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was finally ratified in 1920. Here in Colorado, though, women gained the right to vote more than a quarter century earlier in 1893. Compared to the rest of the nation, that's pretty remarkable. Even more remarkable, Colorado made national history by achieving this milestone, not through legislative action, but by popular vote. Think about that. Colorado women fighting for the right to vote had to convince a majority of men, the voters in the state, to vote to share their political power with women. That effort took decades of work and lots of effective grassroots organizing. Still yet more remarkable, Colorado women suffragists pulled off this incredible election in the middle of a terrible economic crisis in Colorado when our mining industry was in turmoil and we had 25% unemployment. And yet, they prevailed. They did it. And in doing so, they not only changed Colorado, they led a wave of other states that together ultimately changed our nation and led to greater equality for all of us. As a lawyer, a judge, and a woman, I am forever grateful for the bravery of those women. It is in thanks in part to them that I stand before you today as a justice on the Colorado Supreme Court, the first Latina on the court, and only the sixth woman to serve as a Supreme Court justice in our state's 144 year history. That journey didn't happen overnight either. My father, Jose de Cedero Lorenzo Marquez, he came from the San Luis Valley where La Familia Marquez has farmed and ranched in the Antonito Conejos area for many generations. My mom, Sherry Beveridge, yes, that's her name. She grew up in a little town called Anadarko, Oklahoma. My dad wound up in the Air Force during the Vietnam War and I was born in a barracks hospital on Bergstrom Air Force Base in Austin, Texas. The Air Force sent my father to law school, and when he got out of the service, he landed a job in Grand Junction. Growing up on the Western Slope, my little sister Christine and I hiked and camped and fished on Grand Mesa. I spent my summers in high school picking peaches and driving tractors in Palisade. My mom taught public school. And my dad, he did a fair share of Chicano rights work in his day. He ran a mariachi choir at church. We went to mass in Spanish. Our friends had surnames like Cruz, Baca, Lucero, Garcia, Rodriguez. And some of us were light-skinned, some were dark. That part never really seemed to matter. But a couple of us grew up and realized we were gay. And that's not an easy thing in a Hispanic Catholic family. I came out to my parents on election night in 1992 over the passage of Amendment 2, which was an anti-gay Colorado voter initiative that was eventually struck down by the United States Supreme Court in a case called Romer versus Evans. Now in 1992, on the night of that election, I was a 23-year-old Jesuit volunteer 
teaching in the inner city schools of Camden, New Jersey and West Philadelphia. Camden in particular was and still is desperately poor. It's full of gangs and drugs and guns and poverty. We volunteers live together in this run down row house with a whole mess of roaches and mice. And we made a whopping 85 bucks a month. We were fully immersed in that environment, which honestly was utterly foreign to me coming from a small town like Grand Junction. I counted crack vials on the sidewalk every day on my walk to the bus stop. And every one of us was mugged at one point or another. Um, my first experience with that was being mugged by a prostitute with a baseball bat. And the joke there was I didn't have any money, so it didn't work out very well for either one of us. Even one of my fellow volunteers was shot in the back in a, in a drive-by gang initiation right. Luckily, he survived. But those times were tough. And during all of that, I fell in love with teaching. I fell in love with my students. And I learned more from them than all my time in college. And interestingly, it was also during those JVC years that I finally accepted the fact that I was gay. That's not an easy thing thing because I knew that it would at least initially devastate my parents. It could get me fired. And if I wasn't careful, we'll get the you know what beaten out of me on the streets of Camden. So I'm sure my parents were terrified for me and they had good reason to be. The injustices that I both witnessed and that I personally experienced during those years were what inspired me to go to law school. Through a series of accidents and minor miracles, this kid from Grand Junction somehow landed at Yale Law School. It was a dream come true, definitely. And yet, to be honest, I often felt incredibly lonely and unsure that I belonged there among all these students who seemed so brilliant and so accomplished and who had been groomed their whole lives to wind up at a place like Yale. My Western Slope tractor driving skills and even my newly acquired Camden Street Smarts felt insignificant in those hallways. But I also knew that La Familia Marquez was rooting for me. So I dug deep and I hung in there and I learned to trust that I belonged there. And just like you all today, I finally graduated. It's been a remarkable journey since then. My father, he was one of just a small handful of Latino attorneys in Colorado in the early 1970s. In 1984, and again in 1988, he blazed his own trail of firsts in Colorado legal history, becoming the first Latino district judge in my hometown of Grand Junction, and later the first Latino judge on the Colorado Court of Appeals. And on December 10th, 2010, with the permission of the Chief Justice, my father, Senior Judge Marquez, gave the judicial oath of office to me, the new Junior Justice Marquez, in a packed historic Supreme Court courtroom at the state capitol. And as he uttered that last phrase, upon which I am about to enter, his voice cracked and he raised both his arms in triumph. So, you know, we had a bet going that day over who would cry first, and he totally lost. But it was one of the most memorable moments of my life. In the nine plus years since that day, I have discovered that my role as a justice reaches well beyond peppering lawyers in oral arguments and writing opinions. Our justices, we serve as ambassadors of our legal system to the larger community. I have spoken with countless high school, college, law students and community groups across the state. And I've seen firsthand what a difference it makes to these young women, Latinos, LGBT students, folks from the Western Slope, to meet a Supreme Court justice who reflects some part of them and their experiences. And I'll tell you, there is no greater joy than inviting a young person to climb up into my chair on the bench and to look out at the courtroom from that perspective, to literally inhabit my space and experience my view and to see their young faces light up with possibilities that they had not previously imagined. And so it matters. 
Your courage and your persistence today matters, not just for you, but for all those for whom your journey lights the way. My Marcus grandparents did not live to see me become a Supreme Court justice. Neither of them went to college. And in fact, my abuelita, Felicita Merencia Espinosa Marquez, or Grandma Mary, as we called her, she dropped out of high school just a semester short of graduation. Pero mis abuelos, they understood the value of an education and they made sure that their children not only graduated high school, but college as well. And as for Grandma Mary, ella es mi heroína. She is the toughest mujer I've ever known. And you know what? She eventually went back to school and she finished her GED as a 68 year old grandmother. She never quit. She inspired me when I was a kid and she continues to inspire me now. And you all inspire me as well. I wanna give a special shout out today to Gilbert Gonzalez, a member of the Rifle Campus Class of 2020. Gilbert is a non-traditional student. In fact, he's a veteran who served our country. And after his son encouraged him to go back to school, his desire to graduate and make his children proud gave him the drive and focus that he needed to achieve his goals. And today, after overcoming countless obstacles, Gilbert is graduating with an associate degree in business. Sir, congratulations. We salute you. We are living in an extraordinary moment in history. The last several weeks have been unlike anything any of us has ever experienced, and we don't know what the future holds. Again, we're facing unexpected challenges. For some, it's been the loss of independence and freedom, for others, it's been the loss of a job. Or maybe we're enduring the stress of a job that's on the front lines. Maybe you suddenly have no quiet place to study or sleep. Or maybe you find yourself with additional childcare responsibilities. Or perhaps like six members of my family, you've been hit with COVID-19. Or like me, you have prayed anxiously for days for a loved one lying in the hospital. Let's be real. It's been scary and disorienting. And of course, we all just want it to be over. It's sort of like being a trapeze artist hurtling through space in that great in-between, nothing to hold on to and no net below. And so here we are holding our breath in that liminal space, that great in-between. And you know what, lately, I've just tried to be present with it, to let it carry me. If anything, this pandemic has forced us to triage. We have very quickly had to learn the difference between things we just want and the things we actually need. Just like my time in the Jesuit Volunteer Corps when I was trying to live on 85 bucks a month. But our lives were so busy, so frantic, that honestly being forced to take a collective pause has given us the opportunity to rediscover what's truly important and to find joy in the simple things in life. And so, although it's been hard, I hope that you cherish this opportunity. You're learning in an incredibly compressed period of time what really matters to you, who you really are and what you are made of. So I urge you to soak up all the wisdom you can from this situation and to let it carry you forward into the rest of your life. You will survive this. And having come through it, nothing can stop you because you'll know now that you're brave enough, you're fierce enough, you're resilient enough to handle whatever life throws at you. Because here's a little secret. Falling down, getting knocked down, getting beaten down, that's inevitable. It's happened to me more times than I can count. What matters what matters is finding the strength to get up again, and again, and again. And I hope that someday you'll look back on this time and say, you know what, I'm glad that happened because that's when I learned what I'm capable of. For today, know that there are moments in life that should be treasured forever 
And graduation is absolutely one of them. So take time today to soak it up. Be present. Take a look around you. Whether you've earned your GED or degree in accounting or IT or business or education, you made it. And somewhere in the room with you or maybe online, there's a significant other, a spouse, a parent, a sibling, a teacher, maybe just a really good friend who's helped you reach this finish line today. So don't forget to let them know how much you appreciate them. Because without that support, you wouldn't be here graduating. And although the coronavirus has maybe stolen a little of the pomp and circumstance from the celebration, know that you have been blessed with an education that can never be taken away from you. And now you have the opportunity and an obligation to use that education and your talents to make this world a better place. I know it's terrifying, but it's also wildly exciting too. Like the brave women of Colorado who fought for the right to vote, trust that it's always gonna work out. The bottom line is you only get one shot in life. So go for it. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Kreeble and I am so honored to be speaking today and graduating with my fellow students. Welcome parents, staff, and other students. I appreciate everyone who has attended this ceremony today, especially with the uncertainty and inconsistency in our lives because of this global pandemic. I know a lot of you had to make extreme changes in the last few months, so all of us at Colorado, Colorado Mountain College appreciate your flexibility and commitment to this amazing campus. None of us thought we would be spending our, most of our spring semester or our graduation online, but at least I'm not getting yelled at by my parents for being on my computer all day. I've thought a lot about what to say to all of you. I even spent a few days trying to come up with some inspiration. I watched and listened to many, many speeches, but I noticed a lot of them have the same similar message. You all have done something amazing. You all have looked at the next few years of your life and dedicated them to studying, practicing, working hard, and trying your absolute best. However, I don't want to talk about the moments we celebrate. I want to talk about the moments we forget. One moment. Life is full of many one moments, like the moment you take your first steps and the moment you come home from your first day of school. But we've forgotten those moments, right? At the time, those small successes were the greatest things that ever happened to us in our lives. Our first steps were celebrated and our first day of school was another huge milestone. But we forgot, what it, we forgot those moments and what it was like to feel our contentment in those moments. We forgot what it was like to bring in something special for show and tell, like when I brought in my favorite stuffed tiger. We forgot what it was like to try pizza for the first time, although every time I eat pizza, it feels like the first time. We forgot the excitement when our parents say yes to a sleepover with our friends. As we grow older and harder things step into our lives, we forget the small things that once made us so happy. It's easy to do this, especially because our brain makes room for things we try hard to remember like the fact that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. By the way, I'm an accounting major, so I can guarantee I will never use that information in my future career. Thanks, middle school education. When school gets tougher and life throws unexpected tragedies in our lives, we forget the little things that once made us so happy. For example, when I found out I was pregnant, I was, of course, a little bit nervous and scared about this new journey ahead. But that grew into excitement while I prepared for my son to be born. However, my son was born two months early and weighed only two pounds. I remember the important things of that day, but the happy memories of my son being born healthy and me recovering quickly is now tainted with the worry and fear I remember feeling. Thinking back to those memories, I focused on the things that scared me and the hardships I went through, not the small successes. We are at a point in our lives where yet another amazing milestone has occurred. We are graduating from college. A lot of us won't forget this moment because it is a huge success. But my point is, don't forget those small moments in your college career that made you so happy. Don't forget to celebrate the little things too that led you to this moment today. Don't forget the first time your friend helps you with an assignment or the moment you get a B on a really tough test. 
Many of those small moments amount to our happiness in the same way one big moment amounts to our happiness. As you continue on to the next few years of your lives, take a minute and look up from your online classes and reflect on all your small successes from the past few years. Despite celebrating the small successes, this is a monumental for all of us and we should celebrate it. This moment is especially important for some of you that are first generation or students whose relatives have never attended college before. I applaud all of you who have reached this goal without prior knowledge of how to get here. I applaud all of you for graduating today regardless of how long it took you or how hard it was. College is nothing close to easy, so it takes a lot of courage and determination to be where you are today. So good luck to those who are continuing their education and good luck to those who are entering their careers. Thank you for being a huge part of what makes this campus so amazing. I will miss you guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. President Hauser and Trustee Portscheller, I have the honor and privilege to present the graduating class of 2020. All the candidates have been certified by the faculty as having met the requirements of their respective bachelor degree, associate's degree, or certificate program. Good afternoon. My name is Peg Porcheller, and I am privileged to be the Board of Trustee member from Western Garfield County. I am delighted to join you at your commencement ceremony. By the power vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Colorado Mountain College, President Hauser and I are delighted to confer upon you your commencement degree. May you enjoy it and may this be a graduation you will not forget. Hi, I'm Dr. Chip Thomas, the Assistant Dean of Student Affairs at the Rifle Campus, and I have the honor of reading the graduate list for spring of 2020. And here we go. Caden Lee Abernathy, Basic Welding and Cutting, Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. Kaylee Marie Adams, Apply Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Patty Angel, Associate of Arts. Ibonai, Annabelle Archia, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Emma Avina Munoz, Early Childhood Teacher Certificate. Walter Miguel Bacon, Associate of Arts and Business. Stacy Lynn Bacon, Associate of General Studies. Madison Balazan, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Kimberly Benuelos Castillo, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Stacy Barnum, Associate of General Studies. Jason Beitzel, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Jace John Bennett, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. William Benning, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Edith Bernal, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Dia Traber, Phlebotomy Certificate. Hannah Louise Beckington, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Britton Lee Bianco, Associate of Arts. Colby Bilson, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Garrett Blair, Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. Emily Grace Boone, Early Childhood Teacher Certificate. Kat Boyd, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Alyssa Marie Brennan, Associate of Arts. Hope Brun, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Matthew Burnett, Associate of Science. Alondra Calderon, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Lyle Call, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Nicholas A. Campbell, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Erica A. Campos, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Belen Guadalupe Comunez, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Diego Antonio Cardona Sanchez, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Acacia 
P. Carmichael, Associate of Science. Lucy W. Cerise, Associate of Arts and Business. Alice Chappelle Hardesley, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Jennifer Caro, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Marianne Carrillo, High School Equivalency. Marlene Chavez Duva, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Arleth Chavez Martinez, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Kevin Clark, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Catherine Cohn, Associate of General Studies. Bennett Cudi, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Alyssa Nicole Cooley, Real Estate Certificate. Shaley Copeland, Certified Nursing Cutting, Certified Nursing Certificate. Kevin Cordasco, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Jason L Justin Lee Cordova Pagan, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Israel Cornejo Torres, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Cassandra Paloma Corral, Early Childhood Teacher Certificate. Yancy Kos, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Oscar Crispin, Associate of Arts. Tegan Costanzo, Fire Academy One Certificate. Austin Craig, Associate of Science. Malachi Crane, Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. Brittany Renee Kernat, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Cipriana Ducoma, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Tiana Davis, Phlebotomy Certificate. Stephanie Delgadillo, Early Childhood Teacher Certificate. Conrad Deman, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Taylor Ray Dion, Basic Welding and Cutting and Fabric Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Tinker Elizabeth Jacobs Duclo, Associate of Arts in Spanish. Marcy Dye, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Nancy Therese Espinoza Valencia, Associate of Arts and Business. Jonathan Espinoza Valencia, Associate of Arts and Business. Kelsia May Fedig, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting, Bookkeeper. Aaron Flaherty, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Rebecca Jean Flesch, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Jorge E. Flores Gomez, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. Joseph William Flowers, Associate of Applied Science, Information Technology. Jennifer J. Flowers, Bachelors of Science, Business Administration, Management Information Systems. Kaylee Flynn, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Jared Wayne Folks, Automation and Instrumentation Certificate and Associate of Applied Science, Applied Engineering. Arlitzi Gaeta, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Ivan Gallardo, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Brittany Lynn Galachio Fushi, Associate of Arts and Business. Armando Garcia, Associate of General Studies. Victoria M. Garcia, Associate of Arts. Yatsari Garcia, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Wyatt Gardner, Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. Michael Glenn, Fire Academy One Certificate. Jorge R. Gonzalez, Oil and Gas Technology Certificate. J.D. Lynn Goodman, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Gilbert Gonzalez, Sr., Associate of Arts and Business. Joanna Guterres Contreras, Phlebotomy Certificate. William Gos, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Jordan A. Grant, 
Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Leah Green, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Nicole Guzman, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Braden Harper, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Tarek Harper, Automation and Instrumentation Certificate. Hannah M. Hart, Associate of Art Business. Don M. Hayes, Associate of Applied Science Graphic Design. Frankie Lee Hene, Early Childhood Education Group Leader Certificate. William Harala, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. Gabriela Herrera Lopez, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Sarah Hinojos, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Austin Holabaugh, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. David John Hood, Associate of Science. Marin Howe, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. India Hunter, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Rodrigo Ibera, Associate of Science. Amanda Lynn Ingle, Bachelor's of Arts Sustainability Studies. Leticia Jaquez, Associate of Arts. Ezekiel O. Israel, Associate of Applied Science, Applied Engineering and Bachelor's of Applied Science Leadership and Management. Michael Kelly, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Trista E. Kirshner, Applied Associate of Applied Science, Accounting Bookkeeper. Chloe Kreeball, Associate of Arts and Business. Nicholas J. Crick, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Mike H. Cooper, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Ryan Leather, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Lynette Litzima, Early Childhood Education Teaching Certificate. Chase Walker Lester, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate. David Loken, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Carlos Lopez de la Cruz, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Adele Lopez, Associate of Arts. Vincent Christopher Lindian, Associate of Art Business. Alexis R. Lopez Jimenez, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Caden James Lord, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Zoe E. Loya, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Savannah Madrid, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Carolyn Manapuela, Associate of Science. Catherine Manapuela, Associate of Science. Molly Marshall, Plebotomy Certificate. Litzy Martinez Rodriguez, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Rosa Martinez, Phlebotomy Certificate. Cody McRae, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. David Rock McCready Schultz, Accounting, Bookkeeper and Small Business Finance Certificates. And Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Bookkeeping. Skylar McElroy, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Kristen Medina, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Rose Sarai Mehus, Associate of Science. Ambrose Menard, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Vanessa Mendoza, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Noelle Erica Miller, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Stacy Miller, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Justin Miller, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Urania Marino, Associate of Arts. Dylan Mueller, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Luis H. Munoz, Associate of Arts. Karina Munoz, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Emmanuel Navarro, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Tien Duyen, 
Associate of Arts in Business, Charlotte Olnizak, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate, Megan Grace Olinger, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate, Pilar Pegnai, Spanish Proficiency Certificate, Broden Patton, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate, Keegan Paulson, A Plus Computer Technician Certificate, Elizabeth Pina, Associate of Arts, Maribel Sarai Perdomo, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate, Lacey Lynn Peterson, Phlebotomy Certificate, Andrew Pettit, Fire Academy One Certificate, Jordan Elizabeth Pittman, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate, Marie J. Proctor, Associate of Arts Anthropology, Jessica M. Pursley, Associate of Arts Early Elementary Teacher Education, Yanis Kizada Bicomo, Certified Nursing Assistant, Odales Kizada, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate, Brandon Stan Riddell, Welding Design and Fabrication Certificate, Madison Romos Goodwin, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate, William Thomas Reed, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates, Jared C. Reichel, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates, Merlo Rodriguez, A Plus Computer Technician Certificate, Wesley Rodriguez, High School Equivalency. Carrie Rojas, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Marco Rojas Vargas, Emergency Medical Technician Basic and Fire Academy One Certificates. Federico Luke Rolaro Lopez, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Haley Rosecrans, Plebotomy Certificate. Kyle Dean Ruggles, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Sarai Ruiz, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Kimberly Sanchez, High School Equivalency. Gemma Sanchez Contreras, Associate of Arts. Even Evan Don so Socho, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Sean Patrick Shanahan, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Megan Lynn Short, Associate of Arts. Evan Seiler, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Jonathan Todd Seiler, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Vanson K. Silvius, Pipe Welding Certificate. Luke Lee Smith, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Sydney Jean Stanley, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Anthony A. Stevens, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Keenan Strauss, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Logan Teeter, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Dylan Tiffany, Basic Welding and Cutting and Welding Design and Fabrication Certificates. Nathan Tomasello, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Melissa Thompson, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Alicia Breyer Trevina, Bachelor of Applied Science, Leadership and Management. Yar Yaritza Nohimi Yurkwadi, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Kimberly Nohimi Valdez, Associate of Science. Erica K. Valente, Associate of Science. Chantal Vasquez, High School Equivalency. Javier Vejar Navarez, High School Equivalency. Kimberly Irene Vela Rivera, Associate of Science. Lyle Van, Fire Academy One Certificate. Christina Verdoza, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Jennifer Vincio, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Trevor Edward Wade, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting Bookkeeper. 
Jacqueline C. Walker, Spanish Proficiency Certificate. Ariana Wagoner, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Shelby Lynn Warner, Associate of Science. Nicholas R. Wiley, Basic Welding and Cutting Certificate. Elizabeth Wheelock, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. Audrey Whitman, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Kyla Ann Yost, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Denise Zuniga, Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. And again, we wanna congratulate all of our rifle graduates on the job well done. Drum roll, please. The most important part of this entire ceremony, please turn your tassel from right to left, which signifies your graduation from Colorado Mountain College. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.